welcome today is october 26 2020 and i'm here to do our daily check-in so let's begin if you're wearing headphones please lower the volume I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels in the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. Alright, so um, I feel that my microphone is working. Um, I just received a message from one of my lovely subscribers and she had mentioned that her personal reading audio wasn't working. It worked for the first couple of minutes and then it went silent for the rest of the video. So if you have booked a reading with me and you have received it and you feel that you're having uh, issues with the audio, please let me know. Um, we're in Mercury and retrograde after all. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, if you feel like um, your audio isn't working, please contact me at scorpiomoonintuition at gmail.com. Let me know who you are so I could uh, review your video. And, um, and then chances are, if the audio isn't working, I have to redo your reading. So, let's see here. California. Call from San Rafael CA. Call from Hold on. San Rafael. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I don't answer phone calls where I don't know where it's coming from, and if it's in uh, California. I'm definitely not answering that phone call. <laughs> I have my reasons. So guys, I'm going to clear my space and my energy because I feel like I need it. Like there was a lot of disruptions and interruptions before um, I started recording. So. I really hope everyone had a beautiful weekend. Um, I took a time out and went hiking at my local uh, park and it was nice but it was really cold so but it was really nice to kind of get out there and um, get some fresh air and do some grounding in my area. So let's go ahead and see. What is the energy like for the collective? Dear Spirit, please reveal to me what is the current overall energy of our Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Collective? And what are their energies towards each other? What is the current overall energy, please, spirit, of our Divine Masculines and Divine Feminine Collective? And what are their energies towards each other? What is the current overall energy, please, spirit? Thank you. For Masculines, we have Crown Chakra. So this is really beautiful. I actually would like to read from the book and see what uh, the author's interpretation is uh, for this um, chakra. So hold on one second. Alright guys, sorry, that's the lawn care people. I had to close the door. 
So the crown chakra is white or violet. I am connected to source. I am filled from source. My experience of source and source becomes who I am. The crown chakra is located at the top of the head and where the universal life force enters and begins its journey into our experience. As this light enters, it is given without conditions in its purest form, a love that is profound. This life force is free to be used so that we may experience the energy of our choices and each person receives the same light in equal portion, may soon forget that which they desire is already entering their systems. As they get lost in the lessons of the chakras below, the creative force give us this love without conditions. But one does not have to look far to see that conditional is what most humans are. The lessons of sharing love and light when realized and overcome gives us a greater understanding of divinity, bringing us to a knowing of higher purpose and the experience of as below, so above. This uh, will bring into existence of illuminated earth where love is given without conditions and where there is lack, abundance will become the new experience. Am I open to receive from source? Do I give my love freely without conditions when it is appropriate? Have I placed conditions on my relationships with others? Are others placing conditions on love they are giving me? Wow, this is really beautiful. I feel like with this crown chakra and divine masculines are coming to the awareness of what unconditional and conditional love is. I feel like in the past the masculine did not realize what unconditional love was and they were used to the conditional love that most uh, sentient beings uh, know and understand. So with the masculine's energy towards the feminines, we have purity, okay? And we have a number 40. So I feel like the purity of this masculine or the feminine uh, is really balancing out this particular masculine. So I'd like to go ahead and read from the book and see what this purity means. In the innocence of the moment, one has no judgment of good or bad. In the seemingly random moments of feeling, you tend to reach into the past memory of experience and dictate into the present what the emotions of the moment should be. What if you approach each uh, presentation from others with a possibility that the dualistic judgment of your path may be dictating your intentions? With the energy of innocence, there may be an opportunity to gain a better understanding of all the forces that make up the moment allowing a better set of choices to be made it is not that you should not trust your instincts but instincts gained from prior wounds serves no one as an empath you can feel beyond the pictures and the labels of your wounded past by staying in the innocence of the experience just as a child feels emotions can be navigated from one experience to the next without the burden of emotional baggage am i allowing myself to be present without judgment can i overcome past wounds to feel the purity of the moment am i quickly jumping to conclusions and not allowing the flow of energetic information to give me all the necessary clues wow guys this is really beautiful because what I'm feeling is that from last week's reading coming until today, masculines over the weekend, they have really uh, assessed and, you know, took the time out to really reflect on the connection of themselves and towards source and towards their divine feminine. They are now connecting with their crown chakra and they're really seeing that maybe this masculine was uh, in their head. 
okay? They're in their head about the purity of this connection. For some of these masculines, I feel like, you know, they try to push away the innocence of this beautiful connection that they have with you. And it could have been uh, out of pride and ego, not really following their intuition or their inner guidance from source or universe that, you know, this connection is different. It is not like a typical soul connection that this masculine is used to is what I'm feeling. And masculine, I feel that, you know, can this masculine overcome the past wounds to feel the purity of the moment that they have with you, feminine? And that's what this masculine is coming to realize for today. That's a really beautiful energy. So for feminines, we have stuck. Now, feminines, you had this uh, at some point last week, from what I can remember. So this was your overall energy from last week, and it's showing up again for today. So feminines, you're currently feeling stuck in whatever situation that you need uh, to really assess. Okay, so the guidance for this stuck energy is to really stay centered and really balanced and not let uh, the external circumstances to cloud your mind and really pull you in whatever direction where you feel unbalanced. So over the weekend, I myself have went to um, the park to ground myself. And that was one way of me like uh, getting myself unstuck from any kind of mental conflict or any kind of confusion that I might have, but also a way to connect with Mother Earth and just be in the present moment. And that is to enjoy the sunshine on my face, the cold air, the air that I'm breathing and being thankful that I'm alive, enjoying the human experience. And it was a, a lovely um, feeling um, that I got to experience over the weekend. And it was just like, you know, being in the present moment, okay? So towards your masculine, we have chaos, wow. So feminines, uh, maybe you didn't take your salt bath, right? You know, feminines, let's go ahead and see what this energy is, you know. I really feel like when it comes to working on your uh, your situation with your masculine, you've come to make a decision that you need to change and there is something that is chaotic. And I feel like feminines, you're feeling stuck. So feminines, you're also in your mind about the connection with your masculine. So when I had mentioned feminines, the guidance for you is to detach and really put more focus on yourself. I, I guarantee it, feminines, as you were trying to detach and really uh, love on you, you were, you were thinking of your masculine, weren't you? I'm just saying. <laughs> It's okay. So, in the seeming instability of the chaos of the moment, there is a beauty to be found in its randomness of energetic freedom. How many times do we hold on to the beliefs, people, or situations, all from a perceived fear of letting go? What did I say? When we do realize, most times because of our energy of control, that we can no longer sustain the inevitable, we soon realize our fears were hindering our ability to see a deeper opportunity to be plucked from the chaos the universe always provides. Am I free to experience what is offered in this moment of chaos, or am I hindered by using my energy to hold back the chaos, which holds all the parts of its wild and energetic abandon? Does the fear of being wild and unfettered cause me to retract into a colorless state? Wow, that's really beautiful. So what is it, feminines? You know, you're feeling chaotic when it comes to your masculine because you feel like you don't have control over the situation and you're feeling stuck. So if I mind you're in this stuck energy, there's nothing that you can do. But with this uh, chaos, you're, you're supposed to release and let go and let this energy un unleash itself so that you're not clinging on to this energy because the buildup of this chaotic energy um, will lead to you know, negative energies, you know, so you need to release and detach and let go so that um, you're not suppressing, you know, this fear of possibly not coming into union, fear of not being loved, fear of not having a relationship with your divine counterpart, you know, really, like, 
really nurture your self feminines because um, and and let go do not clean because clean causes suffering and that's what I'm saying so masculines have realized that this connection is really pure and I feel like you know they're not following their intuition when it comes to their divine feminine and feminines are feeling stuck because masculines aren't really acting on this beautiful connection that you have with your divine counterpart but let's see what is uh, the underlying energy for this collective so I hope you guys can hear me with the riding lawnmower that's passing by. It keeps going, circling around my window, and I'm like, really? And the big pile of leaves is like right in front of my window over there. So let's see. And dear spirit. You know, and, and I feel like, you know, like I had mentioned earlier, I did a personal reading uh, for one of my subscribers and it didn't get recorded properly, you know. So it's always, you know, mindful to take your time during Mercury and Retrograde. Try not to be in a hurry or in a rush to come into union with your divine counterpart. You know, there's a reason for delays. There's a reason, you know, to review the connection that you have with yourself and with your divine other. Why are you being stuck, feminines? Really think about it, okay? And masculines, you know, they're they're really uh, receiving this download of information. Are they rejecting it? Are are they pushing it to the to the side, and not really seeing the true beauty of this connection that they have with you? So let's see, spirit and universe. Please reveal to me what is the underlying energy of this masculine feminine collective? What is going on in the unconscious or subconscious minds of this collective? Please, Spirit. Thank you. So, with masculines, we have here isolation. Masculines, you know, they're feeling alone. And they're feeling isolated. I feel like this is abandonment. Masculines have a fear of being abandoned or, you know, or being in a commitment of some sort. And if this masculine is in a commitment, they feel isolated. I feel like um, there's um, a coldness or a separation of what, whatever relationship that this masculine is in. And this masculine has received, like, uh, some information to really assess, you know, why are they feeling isolated at this time? Is it because of their past wounds or, or fears of, you know, of relationships? Or, you know, perhaps, you know, a commitment that they're currently in. You know, take it as it resonates. But masculine is, is receiving this information. And towards you, feminine, they're feeling insecure about this pure connection. I really feel like this masculine has um, attracted multiple karmic relationships throughout their lifetime and each time they've committed to a soul partner or you know a soul mate or a karmic relationship they feel isolated they end up feeling abandoned and wounded that is the feeling i'm getting and there is this purity that they're receiving this white light divine light about the reasons why they are feeling this isolation you know and one aspect this masculine is really repressing their emotions and they're blocking their throat chakra of really communicating their truth about how they really feel and towards the feminine i feel like you know when it comes to the 3d aspect of coming together with their feminine and the physical they're feeling really insecure i really feel like it's because of the masculine's decisions of the past you know and masculines are feeling guilty in some aspect of really uh, staying stuck in karmic relationships you know choosing to stay isolated you know, has the masculine really worked on their their fears, uh, any kind of traumas that, you know, this masculine has of the past? And that's what I'm seeing. So, feminines, if you're feeling stuck and you're feeling chaotic because masculines um, are not choosing to come forward towards you in the physical, well, it's for a reason. And it's because 
they they fear opening up their heart to a true love connection this pure connection and i really feel like if there is a negative energy that is surrounding this masculine to make them think otherwise this masculine cannot believe that they have a divine connection with their divine feminine and that's what i'm feeling you know masculines would rather feel isolated and feeling abandoned and wounded in this situation but I really feel like masculines are actually really thinking about this. So they're reflecting. Okay, feminines. That is what I'm seeing. Now with you, you need to learn to release this energy of feeling stuck. So feminines, uh, this is like a self-imposed entrapment of your mind. Mental confusion. You know, I really feel like for feminines, okay, maybe you did not take the advice from last week and you know kept yourself stuck and that's for some of you okay that's not for all but you know this is a general collective reading so I see feminines you know you've either released the stuck energy or you're still dealing with it okay and towards your masculine there is a miracle so there's a miracle amidst the chaos that you're feeling when it comes to your masculine for some you've learned to release and let go and just go with the flow you know and let universe guide you from what i can feel and there is this energy of doing this that is going to help you release this uh this energy so that you know new and positive energy can come forward towards you so I do feel that feminines, you are currently working on this and that's that's good. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. So let's see. Spirit, please reveal to me what is uh, the energy surrounding the masculine in their 3D physical life? What is uh, the energy surrounding this masculine in their 3D physical life? What is currently going on in this divine and masculine's physical life? Please, spirit, why are they feeling isolated and insecure when it comes to their feminine and karmic situation? Thank you. There's a falseness, okay? Maybe they're lying to themselves or holding back, you know, that, you know, they deserve this connection wow masculines are feeling like do they deserve a divine connection with their divine feminine i honestly feel like this masculine is playing wounded warrior right wounded masculine are they deserving of this connection of love pure love of unconditional love from their feminine they're feeling really insecure that's what i'm seeing guys and I feel like they want to create something new and they're thinking about being faithful to you. They know that you've been waiting and I feel like some of these masculines are waiting and they are hoping but they're in despair because they, they really can't believe that there is someone in their life who is of divine light and love. That is what I'm getting. Wow. I feel like masculines want to put an end to their ego. This is like ego death, ego kill. They want to change and transform of being egotistical and prideful. I honestly do. I feel like masculines, um, for some, they are showing that they want to end this connection of being fake and egotistical and prideful with a letter. So some of these masculines could be uh, sending you a message about their insecurity when it comes to you and they're feeling isolated and alone. Some of these masculines are actually um, afraid to let you know how they truly feel because th this is their true vulnerability. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like some of these masculines are afraid, but some of them are ready to write a letter and express how they're truly feeling about the past. This could also be about um, 
feeling isolated from a previous marriage. And they, I feel like this masculine is really traumatized uh, based off of whatever previous marriage or relationship that this masculine had. And they've come to realize that they want to put an end to that negative energy. It's a, a false sense of security. That's why they're insecure when it comes to you because they can't believe that feminine, you're so pure. This uh, connection with the masculine is so pure and this masculine is afraid to open up their heart when I can feel. And I see that masculines, um, they're wanting stability is what I'm feeling. For some of these masculines, um, they're stuck in a marital situation with the karmic. That's why they can only send you a message or a letter. And I feel like um, they're waiting f to make a deal, okay? They're waiting to see um, what happens. For some, I feel like this masculine is waiting uh, on a sale of a home so that they can get out of whatever karmic situation that, uh, that they're in. But they're really feeling insecure about this connection with you for whatever reason. That's what I'm seeing. You know, and some of these masculines, you know, they're, they feel like there has to be a catch, you know, to this connection. So let's see. Feminines, what is your energy in your current people life? What is it that you need to release? What is this miracle in the midst of this chaos? What is going with you? Or are you feeling stuck? And are you ready to release this energy? Let's see. Feminines, you're in sorrow about this wife. So you're still like sad. Maybe masculines are still in a relationship and you want reunion, okay? I can't make this stuff up, guys, okay? And you've been talking to your friends about this connection, and I see that you want to heal. You wanna heal this sadness that you have. You know, that's why you're feeling stuck and you're hoping for a miracle, right? Let's see. There is a young woman, or also this could be a new energy about um about learning you're learning something about this younger woman i feel like this younger woman is dating and they could be dating a soldier i feel like you know for some um whoever this masculine is Whoever that their karmic is with, I feel like they could have been married or in a relationship with this younger woman. And you've come to realize that they had a relationship maybe um, when the masculine was in the military. Okay. Or this karmic feminine uh, is dating a new person. And you want to uh, really control the situation. You know, you're feeling stuck. You need to let go of this control over this karmic and your sign. Your sign is your masculine going to handle the situation. And you're sad. So, feminines, you're not feeling very good today. You feel like uh, there is a younger uh, person that is uh, always coming in between you and your masculine. You need to release this negative energy, feminines, okay, of feeling stuck. When you let go, there's a miracle that's going to happen. Masculines, they want to put an end to it. I feel like they want to send you a message, feminine. That's what I'm feeling. It's really difficult for this masculine to really uh, speak in, from their tr uh, true authenticity from what I can feel. So let me go ahead and get straight into the tarot and see what else. So Spirit, please reveal to me what is the current energy of this Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And if any karmic energy wants to come through, so be it. What is the uh, general overall energy of the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine for this collective? Please give me some insight. 
on the energies uh, surrounding this masculine and feminine collective, please spirit, and any kind of future potential energies. What is the energy surrounding this masculine and feminine? Thank you. So I see feminines, you're blocking your heart. You haven't made a choice. And it's because you were stabbed in the back and left for dead. I feel like masculines uh, left the connection with you. And um, you're just waiting for the right moment. I feel like this could be three days or three weeks. Um, that you just need to be in a temporary pause. You know, to really reflect on what is right and what's fair. You know, really take the time to really think about yourself, feminines. And I see that you have some fear. You know, fear of maybe the unknown. Like, does the masculine really love you? Will there ever be a reunion? And I see that you're just going to let go and just go with the flow with how the universe, you know, wants you to go to these energies and really take the time to, you know, pursue your creative um, outlets for what I can see. And I see that there is going to be a coming together. This could be with your uh, friends. Um, but it's a time to, to really transmute your energy and be joyful so that you can uh, feel stable and grounded. Uh, I do see that you're not happy and you're working on your independence. And more than anything, you want to come into union with your masculine. You want to feel emotionally happy as a family. And you also want to have a commitment. But first, you know, masculines, they need to get out of a relationship or a commitment that they're in with another family situation. Or this could be like a karmic situation that they've invested into. And there is a secret that you don't know. And it's about this third party. You know, perhaps masculine is still healing over this third party. This could be your energy, also feminine. And it's a time to really work on yourself and also the masculines because it's a part of your destiny okay it's a it's a part of your karma and i see masculines they're going to take charge of the situation so you have to have faith okay and let your masculine work on them i see that this masculine is going to come forward and offer their feelings towards you they're going to apologize um so you know just trust the process feminines that is what i'm saying for today's energy you know, masculines could have been uh, playing, uh, you know, like for keeps, right? I feel like there could have been an argument. You know, there could have been a separation between uh, two or three people, depending on whoever situation it is. And masculines, you know, they were protecting themselves, you know, from this change. That's why this masculine is feeling really insecure. I also feel like this masculine is stuck between... A couple different energies one being karmic energy and the other the divine feminine I also feel masculines um, they're they're having a difficult uh, uh, time of making a decision of coming clean or really communicating their truth you know this masculine knows that they have to change and they're avoiding it okay I feel like it has something to do with their insecurity of feeling isolated and abandoned for one this masculine is actually stuck in a karmic relationship or karmic situation and um, they're tired of like feeling inferior feeling really insecure they're afraid if they open up their heart to the feminine that they're going to be treated the same as the karmic have treated this masculine that's what I'm feeling. That's why this masculine is afraid to really change and move forward. I also see that uh, they're ready to get out of the separation. This could be you, feminine. Feminines, I feel that there is some time that has passed and you've really been um, having masculines on your mind and more than anything, you, you want to communicate how you've been feeling, what you've been thinking, but the masculine is not uh, really allowing themselves to be open towards this type of communication from what I can see. And feminines, you want to offer your masculine everything. You want to be their wife. 
you want to be their longtime lover. You want to have a business with them. You want to grow. You want to you know, be the mother of their children or father of their children, however it resonates uh, with you. You want to nurture your masculine. There's something that you also have that you want to offer towards your divine counterpart also. But masculines are cutting off this communication or the holding back. That's why feminines, you're, you're feeling stuck. You don't know what to do. You don't know how to pursue this masculine, but you need to release uh, the stuck energy and just uh, in the midst of this chaos, just release and you know let universe work okay work on your behalf because i feel like this masculine doesn't feel really good about talking to you about their truth that's why they're having to um write a letter this could be an email this could be a text message but i feel like this is in written format rather than a vocal format masculines have a hard time of vocalizing their true feelings from i can see in their heart, this masculine is wanting to feel balanced so that they can move forward. And this could also be your energy, also feminines. You're ready to uh, move move forward. I feel like feminines, you've overcome your sense of fear and you're releasing this um, this idea of fear that you have in connecting with your masculine because I feel like uh, feminines, you have uh, really worked on the rejection aspect. I feel like you've been rejected by your masculine more than once. While masculine is stuck in whatever uh, karmic uh, situationship that they're in, but just because they're in that situation, they're feeling isolated. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. I also see that feminines, you're learning to release yourself from being stuck in your head. So this is good, you know, and, and I felt that in the very beginning of the reading that, you know, feminines, you're learning to release yourself from this stuck energy. Okay, so you're trusting in divine miracles, right? Possibly serendipity for what I can feel. And you're feeling like sunshine, okay? And this is also the masculines. So feminines, you're feeling really good about moving forward no matter the, the outcome. And masculines, if they're having issues with communication, I feel like their method of communication is perhaps transmuting their thoughts onto paper. Because this masculine has a lot going on in their crown chakra. Okay, it's it's this uh, feeling of being isolated and I really feel like, you know, that's why their stability is effective when it comes to you of this masculine coming towards you in the physical. And so masculines are finally feeling stabilized um, because this is masculine energy and now they're feeling more in their element to really move forward to have like a completion of this cycle so they can have a new beginning of whatever ending that they've had with you, feminine. Yeah, I see that uh, masculines see that it's time to uh, close out those cycles. It's time to close out the, the karmic wheel and also to get out of their head of feeling stuck and trapped and really feel the power the courage and overcome their fear because I feel like this masculine realizes that whatever this fear is it's just uh, you know this insecurity that they have and that this masculine is realizing through source that this connection is pure and that's why feminines you're being called to release and let go because through the masculine's crown chakra if you're feeling chaotic, there is a miracle that is happening. So you have to just trust, follow your gut, follow your intuition. And finally, we have here the two of cups and reverse. So what does this mean? It's self-love. It's self-love and masculine is realizing that because they didn't close out the karmic cycle, they cannot have a new relationship with you. So they have to, to close out those chapters before they can offer you something new feminine. So masculines, they're making a plan. They're making a plan. I feel like they're uh, moving away from this karmic energy. 
not really revealing their truth. That's why there's a sense of falseness here, okay, with the masculine's energy about ending a, a situation, you know, because of their pride and ego. So masculines are feel that during this time they're they're writing it down, okay. Yeah, because something happened with this masculine. It it it, it was a shock to this masculine that they've come to realize that they were actually feeling really insecure about themselves. That's what I'm feeling. And I feel like it's because they have been caught up in this vicious cycle dealing with karmic partnerships and relationships. And this masculine, you know, uh, was not really balanced and stable when it comes to you feminine because you actually have a different vibration or energy that's why this masculine could not really see eye to eye with you because they were vibrating in a similar frequency or vibration as a karmic energy i i honestly feel like masculine is like seeing like some kind of clarity okay and it, it comes to this masculine as a surprise that they didn't open themselves up to you they're like, how could I not open up myself to my Divine Feminine? They they want to get out of the separation. They're not happy with where they're at. And they've made a decision to get out of a relationship with a karmic. This could be three to four weeks, guys. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. So, let's go ahead and see what else. What else should I pull? Let me pull from this Masculine's Madness. Dear Spirit, what does the Masculine want to say towards their Divine Feminine? What are the messages that the Masculine wants to say towards their Divine Feminine? What are the messages, please, Spirit? What are the messages that the masculine likes to say towards their divine feminine? Three messages, please. Two messages. Two messages, please, spirit. I'm not feeling that. Two messages from the divine masculine. Okay, well, I got three. Stripping down masculine beliefs. So masculines, I feel like they're stripping down their own personal beliefs about what a divine connection is. I feel like this masculine, you know, really can't believe that they are keeping themselves stuck in this karmic cycle, dealing with karmic relationships and karmic situations. That is what I'm feeling. And this feeling of isolation, it's like, why are they in this uh, feeling of isolation or why are they isolating themselves? when they know about, you know, um, their past. And why are they putting up a facade when they know that they have a true love connection? It feels like I'm slowly losing you, fading. So a masculine, and they're really feeling that their feminine is fading away. I feel like I'm losing my mind, awakening. So definitely masculine is going through an awakening. Hence the reason why they're getting downloads from the divine through their crown chakra. Their crown chakra is wide open, from what I can see. And finally, comfort. You feel like home. Masculines, they really feel that you, you are that special place you know, in their arms. And you feel like home to this masculine. Masculines cannot deny that there is a sense of purity in this uh, relationship that they have with you, whether or not you're with them in the physical or not. The reason why they're not with you in this now moment is because of this masculine's insecurity. And that's what I'm seeing in feminines. You just have to release, you know, this stuck energy of feeling like um, you're losing control of your situation. You just have to believe in the miracle, okay, and let go of this chaos that's in your mind, this mental thought. Because masculine is um, almost operating in the same vibration with this isolation, you know, as this masculine is getting downloads from the divine is what I'm feeling. So let me go ahead and pull another message and see what additional messages does this masculine want to say to their divine feminine? What does the masculine want to say towards their divine feminine? 
What are the messages, please, Spirit? Thank you. What are three messages does the masculine want to say for their feminine? What are the messages? What are three messages, please, Spirit? What does the masculine want to say? Two more messages. Two more messages, please, Spirit. One more message, please. Okay. I feel like I'm not enough for you, and I feel you have expectations, guys. You know, that's why this masculine is really feeling insecure. You know, I kid you not, you know. This masculine knows that this is a divine and pure connection, and they're feeling isolated right now because of the choices that they've made, you know, with a karmic. That is what I'm seeing. Also, I need time to work things out. Just know that I want you. Please be patient. So masculines, they're asking their feminines. I know that I'm not responding. I know I, I have insecurities. I know I'm isolating myself. I'm feeling abandonment. I'm wounded. I'm, I'm trying to heal myself is what I'm hearing. And I really feel that because of that, they don't feel like they're good enough for you. And in their mind, they think that you have expectations. And I really feel like feminines, you know, perhaps you have expectations of masculines really opening up. But masculines, they're feeling guarded and wounded, you know, um, to really connect with you because of whatever decisions that they've made in the past. And finally, I regret a lot of the things I have said and done, and I apologize. Masculines, they have a lot of regret. They really do. Masculines, you know, they've come to terms with their actions, and they don't feel very good about the words that they've told you of the past. And it's because of this insecurity. So just know that. So feminines, you know, if you have any kind of chaotic uh, thinking in your mind, release and let go and let the miracle happen. Let universe work on your behalf. In the meantime, really nurture yourself is what I'm feeling. Okay, so let me go ahead and pull some additional guidance. So if this reading is resonating with you, what is uh, the guidance? for today what is the question that you could ask yourself the sole truth what is it that you need to be aware of in your present circumstance Am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up into my life? Wow. So, I really feel like this, I mean, this could be masculine, but I was really feeling the feminine energy. So, feminines, are you getting enough rest? Um, you know, are you releasing the stress? You know, did you take your, your bath? You know, the salt bath that I had recommended from last week. When I can feel, because you really need it. Okay, like, and if you don't have a bathtub, you know, take you a nice shower, okay, with your favorite um, soaps or, or whatever that you have, right? Or do some aromatherapy around your house, um, you know, because there is chaos on the feminine side. So, you are the asset. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling. How much sleep are you getting? And what can you do to help rest your body? So today's sole action is to take a bath. <laughs> Guys, take a bath, okay? Like, it's in here multiple times. I have my lovely bath bombs. I have fresh new bath bombs, okay, guys? So take advantage of it. And guys, um, if you want to hold out, um, I will put my bath bombs on sale, okay? I'll do it for the collective for this week, okay? How about that? For, for this week, I will put all my bath bombs and bath salts uh, on sale. I do have peppermint. This is the anti-aging um, bath soak. And also, I still have the detox bath salts. Now, guys, 
I charged this under the new moon and we're almost up to the full moon so I only have like a couple of these left so take advantage of this this should be pretty potent so if you need to take a, a salt bath and especially if you're a, a gentleman okay who um, isn't into like the floral stuff like um, try out the detox bath salts also my son said that he really enjoys this peppermint anti-aging bath salt okay um, this one smells like peppermint it's more of a menthol uh, smell it says take a bath put on some lavender essential oil and go to bed ridiculously early or give yourself a time out today notice your body thanking you today's mantra the more I give myself permission to rest the more I can contribute exactly especially if you're a workaholic okay um, this could be those earth signs okay those stubborn the stubborn ones, what is it, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos? <laughs> Give yourself permission to rest. You deserve it, okay? Like this weekend, I had a three-day weekend myself, and I worked a little bit on Friday, and obviously I work a little bit every day, guys, okay? I'm not going to lie. But um, I really could use another day off and just do nothing you know I always do something on every day so you know I feel like that's really important for someone out there so let me go ahead and close out this reading with a final guidance message and see what is the guidance for this collective so if this reading again is resonating with you or if you're looking for some sound advice this is today's guidance message and thank you all, you know, for all my lovely new subscribers who have recently joined in on my channel. I really hope you enjoy my daily guidance uh, videos. The Rose's Kiss. This is beautiful. Wow. And it's a number nine. I feel like this is completion, right? ending of cycles so let's see joy experiencing pleasure deep satisfaction and enjoyment desires acknowledged five sensory reality Take a deep breath and center on the feeling of joy. Can you allow your senses to awaken and connect with the innate desire to experience all life has to offer? Pleasure is a part of life. Let yourself surrender to it today. Our modern times often present a false ideal of how we are meant to experience the world. Connections are lost and distorted by our over-reliance on technology. Just look around and see how few people actually maintain eye contact or engage in conversation. Instead of tapping away at a screen, pause and consider how you can make more intimate contact. Connecting with nature, enjoying the essential pleasures of sex and or being aware of the sensories of taste, touch, smell, and sight and sound may be important right now. How do your sheets feel? Can you reach out and feel the heat and softness of your companion animal nestled beside you? All right, guys, I know what y'all are thinking. You're like, as if, if only your divine other was there with you, right? <laughs> if you're, you're not with um, your divine counterpart in the physical, you can uh, have your imagination run wild and imagine your divine counterpart laying next to you, you know, and uh, recreate uh, this uh, stimulating uh, sensory of feeling, right? Imagining, you know, if as if your divine masculine was there, you know, and also, you know, as I mentioned earlier in my reading, I went to the park and I grounded with Mother Nature and I was in my present moment, breathing in uh, the beautiful fresh air, enjoying it, uh, the beautiful sunshine on my face and just soaking in the natural energies, you know, uh, from the planet and, you know, from the sun, you know, and those things are good. 
Your five senses are achieving, are aching to be engaged right now. This is an invitation to get out of your head and into your body. You may be a spiritual and intelligent being, but right now the emphasis should be on having a sensory experience. This is the sacred part of this gift of life by being present to the central world and invite you to even a spiritual experience. Amazing, isn't it? Perhaps it is really time to stop and kiss the roses. So if you're not with your divine other, you can definitely, you know, smell the roses and give it a kiss, you know, eat a petal. <laughs> I don't know what y'all are into, but, you know, um, but really, uh, like taste, you know, taste, touch, you know, look, feel, hear, and really enjoy like the, the sensory um, aspect of connecting with um, yourself, you know, and I really feel like that's what, you know, this masculine is really missing because honestly, this masculine is in isolation and they're not getting that from their karmic, okay, I guarantee it, and I know this masculine is thinking about you, this masculine is really thinking, like, what it was like when they were with their divine feminine, when both you guys were enjoying the five senses, the stimuli that, you know, you guys had, and they really can't believe the purity and divine connection that they have with you, and this masculine is feeling really insecure, you know, they, they were settling for, for less. That is what I'm feeling, you know. They were blocking their heart because this sensory that they have with their feminine was too deep. It was too much. And I feel like for some of these masculines, they pushed away because it was um, something that they've never experienced. And this masculine was used to karmic, toxic relationships that they felt it was more closer to home than this really deep, soulful connection that they have, a spiritual connection with you, feminine. That's what I'm seeing, so get in that bathtub, honey, okay? Take you a salt bath, you know? I'm going to put these on sale. And also, guys, okay, um, I am going to, um, I have these on my website now, okay? These lovely crystals. I'm going to be charging these uh, on the um, full moon on Halloween. Okay, isn't it beautiful? Check it out, guys. This is really beautiful. It's a one of a uh, kind piece. And I already sold one before I recorded this video. Okay, so go ahead and check it out. I, this one is possibly like my favorite. So if nobody claims it, hell, I'm going to keep it. Okay, I mean, I just do it because I like doing nice stuff for the collective and, you know, giving you guys something special, um, especially around like our full moons and things like that. And so... Um, go ahead and check it out, okay, guys? So, I really hope you enjoyed today's reading. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can visit me on www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG at Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.